Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about choosing the brain for your project. For beginners who are getting started with electronics, hobby circuits and robotics, both these boards look similar. In this video, I will explain the basic differences between Arduino and Raspberry Pi and by the end of this video, you will be able to choose which board you should use for your project. If you are new to our channel, just to let you know that we upload and share video tutorials on Raspberry Pi, Arduino and their accessory boards and we build robots, home automation systems and other fun hobby projects. We create and upload new projects tutorials every week. If you are a hobbyist or a Raspberry Pi or Arduino enthusiast, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon next to it so that you won't miss our future projects. Our next giveaway will be on coming month so make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. First we will take a look at Arduino. Arduino is actually an open source platform with easily programmable microcontroller boards combining the power of strong microcontrollers and user friendly IDEs where you can write and upload programs that runs on your computer. Due to its low price and low power consumption, it is effectively used in various industries, robotics and home automation projects. All Arduino boards are powered by a microcontroller chip which contains RAM, flash memory, timers and various hardware that support communication protocols like serial, I2C and SPI. On the outside, there are voltage regulators, passive components and GPIO connectors. It is relatively simple design with an even simpler software structure. GPIO pins can be used to connect various sensors to take input and connect output devices like LEDs and motors. Raspberry Pi is a low cost CPU which can be used as a general purpose PC for web surfing, video streaming and things like that. Due to its small size, it can be carried anywhere and can be powered using a mobile phone power bank. Even though Raspberry Pi is so small, it contains all the components that is necessary to operate like a desktop PC. Here on the right side we have 4 USB 2 ports where we can connect our mouse, keyboards, pen drive, external hard disk and other USB devices. Then we have Ethernet port where we can connect Ethernet cable for network access, a 3.5mm jack from where we get audio output and composite video output, HDMI port where we can connect a monitor or projector and a micro USB port where we can supply the input power. The whole Pi is powered by this Broadcom SoC running at 1.4 GHz with 1 GB RAM and we have these GPIO pins which can be used to take inputs from sensors and to give outputs. Based on processing capacity, Arduino is powered by a microcontroller. So what is a microcontroller? Well, a microcontroller is like a tiny computer within a chip. A single chip that contains memory, timers and some dedicated general purpose and special purpose I.O. pins. They are widely used in embedded systems, robotics and home automation projects where GPIO pins are specific. I will get back to that in a minute. Raspberry Pi is powered by a microprocessor. Microprocessors are for general purpose and are not made for a particular task but they perform tasks that are more complex and require hard work such as complex algorithms, software developments, games, things like that. In the case of Arduino, input-output pins operates on 5V as well as 3.3V depending upon the board you are using. There is an inbuilt ADC for most of the Arduino boards that enable us to take analog readings from the sensors such as accelerometer or temperature sensors. It also have multiple dedicated PWM pins for controlling the speed of DC motors or controlling servo motors. One major disadvantage of Raspberry Pi is that all the pins in the Raspberry Pi GPIO pin set are digital. It cannot be used to take analog input. If you want to take analog input, you will have to use an external ADC. Input output pin works under 3.3 volt, providing a voltage above that can burn off your board. So, which one should I use for my project? Arduino or Raspberry Pi? Well, that depends entirely on the complexity of the project and its application. If you are a beginner and you are getting started with simple hobby circuits or robots such as line followers, burglar alarm, automatic night lamp and if you are trying to get familiarized with components, simple modules and coding, I would tell you to go for Arduino. 
If you want to try more advanced robotics, home automations, IoT, and network level applications such as setting up VPNs, Wi-Fi networks, or if you want to try things like image processing, or if you have a lot of data to be processed, complex calculations to be performed, you should definitely go for Raspberry Pi. For example, if you want to build a simple burglar alarm that triggers the buzzer when someone opens a door, you can do that easily with an Arduino. If you want to take a photo using a webcam, run facial recognition algorithm, trigger the alarm, and send the photo as a mail, you should go for Raspberry Pi. As I told earlier, choosing the brain entirely depends upon the complexity and the application of your project. In the next video of this series, we will build a simple line follower robot using IR sensors and L293 d motor driver. As mentioned earlier, our next giveaway will be on coming months, so make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below, and tell me which is your favorite microcontroller you use for your project in the comments. See you soon guys!